Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing today my 19 week pregnancy update and I am 19 weeks exactly today. Um, and um, I have a few things to update you on and I think this might be a long one. So um, yeah, I hope you don't mind that. But um, I do have quite a few things to talk about. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So let me just check my list because as usual, I made a list of things I wanted to mention. So first of all, my belly is actually getting quite big and I feel like um, it's normal. I mean, I think it's not too big for 19 weeks, but uh, it's definitely a lot more noticeable. And I feel like if I wear uh, tight clothing, it's quite obvious that I'm pregnant. I mean, I think so. I don't think you would look at me and think, oh, she's just fat. <laughs> no. Um, I think people can probably tell that I'm pregnant. So um, yeah, that's nice because I feel like in the beginning you just look like you ate a lot <laughs> so yeah um, my belly is definitely getting a lot bigger and maybe I'll insert a few pictures because this weekend we went um, just to take a little walk and I wore a tight dress or I mean it wasn't too tight but it was just one of those striped um, bodycon dresses from H&M I feel like it definitely um, made my belly look very uh, prominent so um, yeah we'll insert a few pictures so you can see what I'm talking about but I feel like it's definitely a lot more obvious that I'm pregnant. This week I feel like I've been struggling a lot with sleeping and I do feel like I'm a little bit sleep deprived um, because I've had a few nights where I think I only got like five hours of sleep and I don't function on five hours of sleep. <laughs> um, I definitely need a lot more than that especially now that I'm pregnant and I feel like it's been so hard to get comfortable because I think in my previous update I said that um, I could still kind of sleep on my tummy and, and that I wasn't gonna transition to the body pillow yet but this week I had to because I just I can't sleep on my tummy anymore it's way too uncomfortable and I actually tried a few times because I feel like if you get used to sleeping a certain way and all of a sudden you can't sleep that way you're still gonna try to go like I still feel like when I'm sleeping I try to go on my tummy unconsciously because that's the most comfortable for me and when I do try to go to sleep and even if I'm um, like semi on my tummy I can feel the baby kicking uh, like where uh, the mattress meets my belly and I'm not even sure if he's uncomfortable or if it's even possible to uh, kind of squish him when I'm sleeping but yeah whenever I roll onto my tummy and I feel those kicks I feel so bad because I feel like um, I'm kind of making him uncomfortable so um, yeah I had to transition to sleeping only on my side and it's been really hard because I'm not used to that and I just feel like I can get comfortable I feel like the body pillow helps a lot but because I'm not used to it it's still very uncomfortable for me and um, I feel like um, I may be putting a lot of pressure on my hips because I wake up in the middle of the night having a really bad hip pain um, or in the morning so yeah it's definitely not too good but actually um, last night I slept quite good on the body pillow so maybe I'm starting to get used to it hopefully um, my mom actually said that the hip pain could also be um, because of all the stretching and, and I think you also have that uh, relaxing hormone or something that makes your ligaments and everything kind of widen up to prepare your body for birth so maybe that contributes to the pain I'm not sure but hopefully I'll get used to sleeping on my side soon because um, yeah it's not been really too good but so yeah no definitely no more tummy sleeping for me um, and speaking of the kicks I feel him kicking every single day when I wake up in the morning uh, I feel a lot of kicks and then I have also been feeling a few um, throughout the day even when I'm walking I mean we went to do some shopping like to the mall and I could feel him kicking while I was walking and it kept making me like, like jump a little because it's just so unexpected when I lie down in bed it's um, kind of different but when I'm walking in public it just kind of makes me a little startled uh, so yeah he's definitely kicking a lot and definitely when I'm more relaxed he gets a lot more active um, but yeah it's really nice and I just love feeling him because I know that he's okay 
So I feel like in the first part of the pregnancy you don't really feel anything and you, I mean you hope for the best but you don't really know what's going on in there. Um, but now that I can feel him kick it's really nice because I kind of have constant uh, reassurance that he's fine. So um, yeah that's really nice. My husband can definitely feel the kicks a lot too and even other people and it, yeah it's just been really nice and um, I actually took a um, video on my phone of my belly and I uh, just took it to send to my mother so I could show her and you can definitely feel the kicks like my belly moving around and um, I'm gonna try to insert it so you can see but but it's filmed on like the other way around because I just filmed it on my phone but um, yeah I'll try to insert it right here if um, I can get it to work and actually I had a scan this week at um, 18 weeks and 6 days and yeah yesterday and I told my doctor that the baby is kicking a lot and that um, I feel like it's quite early because I heard that a lot of people only feel the kicks uh, later on and she said it's because um, I'm quite thin and my stomach is was quite flat before getting pregnant so she said that um, I can feel the kicks uh, very well and also my uh, placenta is um, posterior I think it's called yeah I think that's what she um, called it so it's on the back of the uterus not the front and that means that the baby is more to the front of my belly if that makes sense because if your placenta forms um, in the front of your belly then you can't really feel the kicks that well because it's kind of cushioned um, so that probably helps as well and it's probably the reason why I've been feeling the baby so much and um, she said it's all good I was really happy about um, everything because she said everything looks fine the placenta is where it should be and I think that's the ideal position for the placenta I believe my amniotic fluid was in normal amounts so yeah she just measured a bunch of stuff with the baby I actually thought that this was gonna be my anatomy scan like you know the one that you have kind of halfway through your pregnancy but she actually just did a normal scan and she said that at my next one which I think is gonna be in about a month or a month or so um, that's when she's gonna do the anatomy scan so she also measured the baby and she said I mean I know this is an estimate and they can't really tell you precisely how much um, he measures but um, I think the length is 15.5 centimeters or something and then um, the weight is 280 grams and um, I think that's, I just um, googled it, but it's 0 0.6 pounds in case you're wondering because I know a lot of um, my viewers are actually from the US I think and the UK so maybe you don't know the like grams and kilograms um, so yeah he weighs quite a lot and I mean it's fine <laughs> he just weighs about a week ahead of what he should be I feel like maybe they have growth spurts like they grow more at a certain time and then um, they kind of slow down a little bit so I'm not sure if that's the case but um, yeah he's doing well he was uh, moving a lot in there so he's definitely a happy little baby and I was really happy about his weight because um, I just wanted to know that I'm feeding him right <laughs> if you know what I mean and I gained three kilograms from the beginning up until now and that's about um, 6.6 .6 pounds which is um, very okay my doctor said it's good and that I'm right on track so um, that made me feel really reassured I feel like it's definitely because I've been eating a lot better than the first trimester so um, yeah that probably helped with the weight gain although I don't feel like I gained a lot of weight like on my face or on my arms or anything I feel like it's mostly in my belly but that will probably change in the future yeah I'm hoping I won't get too big but I feel like I'm right on track for now I feel like a lot of people when they find out that I'm pregnant ask me um, what cravings I'm having and I'm actually not really having too many cravings I do crave sweet stuff and I just had some donuts um, a few days ago and yeah I just I've been really craving sweet stuff um, not really so much the savory ones and I don't really have particular cravings just anything with like chocolate or jams or and yeah just random stuff not anything in particular I do feel like I'm eating a lot more fruit than I used to before I got pregnant which is good um, but yeah I think that's that's about it for my craving so far one thing that I have been actually craving and kind of started back on is coffee and um, for the first part of uh, my pregnancy I haven't had any type of coffee 
I went off when I found out that I was pregnant and I didn't have any um, up until recently and I've started having one cup of coffee a day just a few days ago actually <laughs> and I asked my doctor about it because I know I've been reading online and they say it's fine to drink 200 milligrams of uh, caffeine and the coffees that I make with my Tassimo have 135 so I'm way below the limit and it shouldn't affect the baby or anything and I asked my doctor and she said it's perfectly fine and, and that I can drink it without uh, worrying about it so I think I'm gonna do that because I also have low blood pressure as I've mentioned before and I think coffee helps me get to a more normal level and makes me not feel as dizzy or um, just yeah, I just don't have any fainting spells because that's really scary. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have one couple a day. I'll, I already had mine today. Also, I talked about my headaches in my previous vlog and I haven't had any this week, which it might be because I started back on coffee. Um, so that could help. But I've also been trying to eat a lot more protein, which you recommended. Um, so I'm not sure which of the two is helping, but I feel like it's a combination of both. So yeah, I haven't had any headaches this week, which I'm really happy about because it was really bad last week. So I'm hoping that it stays that way. And I feel like now that I think about it, I'm almost halfway through and I haven't really had... I mean, I did have a lot of symptoms, but I didn't have any that were so bad that I couldn't handle them. Or yeah, I feel like I've had quite an uneventful pregnancy and without any complications. And yeah, I'm just really happy about it so far and i'm hoping that it stays that way for um the rest of my pregnancy but i think that's about it for symptoms or things like new things that have happened this week um and that i wanted to talk about and i think i'm gonna show you a few things that i bought and that i'm using at the moment and then um actually i also wanted to talk about um, maternity leave because um as you might know i work from home and i have my own um, company or like my own office so um, I am self-employed pretty much and I can basically take my maternity leave whenever I decide to um, not too early but yeah I can pretty much decide when I want to stop working before I give birth and I wanted to ask you when you took your maternity leave before giving birth I was thinking of taking mine about I think about a month and a half before I have the baby um, or before I'm supposed to have the baby and that would be at the beginning of September so I thought I would work um, all the way through August and then in September I will just stop working and, and that means I might have a, more time to do YouTube which is gonna be nice but at the same time I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of things to prepare for the baby and then also I'm probably gonna be really tired and huge and uncomfortable and um, yeah, I just thought it would be easier for me and one month of work is not gonna set us back or anything um, it's not really gonna make much of a difference and I am actually really lucky in that sense because um, I also get uh, two years of maternity leave after the baby is born and I get almost full pay of what I'm currently making I mean you get paid 85% um, of um, your income in the last year before you gave birth so um, it's gonna be really nice and convenient for me and I'm gonna have two years to spend with the baby which I think is gonna be really nice because um, I just can't imagine leaving the baby with someone else and I couldn't really leave it with my mother because um, she also works so she's not gonna have time to uh, be like full time with him um, and I just don't like the idea of <laughs> leaving him with a stranger um, while he's so young so yeah I'm really happy about that and, and I could actually return to work anytime I wanted but yeah I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do but I think I'm gonna take advantage of um, the whole two years that I get my maternity leave for if I feel like I need to start early for my own sanity then I probably will but for now that's what I'm thinking and yeah I just think we're really lucky in that sense in my country I know people who can only take a few weeks after birth which I think is really unfortunate especially if you're planning on breastfeeding so I basically just wanted to ask you how uh, far along before you had the baby you um, got your maternity leave because um, I'm thinking if it's too soon or anything but I just feel like it would be better for me just a lot easier if I get it sooner than later okay so lastly because I feel like this video is gonna be quite long um, let me know if you mind if I make these uh, vlogs quite long or if you just prefer them to be shorter 
um, but I just feel like I had a lot to talk about so I wanted to share it thing and I actually I'm not sure if I mentioned it before I might have actually mentioned it in a previous vlog but um, I got the Palmer's cocoa butter um, stretch mark lotion which I was thinking of getting the tummy butter like the one that comes in a little um, jar but I feel like that was quite thick um, and quite I don't know I feel like it's more of a hassle to kind of dig with your hands into that rather than just pumping it out of the bottle and I feel like it's really easy to use and and I've been still using this one in my bio oil uh, which I actually have to repurchase because I'm almost out um, but yeah that's what I've been using and um, I have no stretch marks yet which I've actually heard that you if you get them you usually get them uh, towards the end of your pregnancy so um, yeah but I'm definitely feeling a lot of stretching in my skin um, on my stomach so I'm trying to kind of help that and um, also this week um, which I think it's uh, what I'm most excited about is uh, the fact that we got some baby clothes and I'm so excited about it and I know some people say it's bad luck to buy anything before the baby is born which I think it's a bit silly for me because I mean even if something were to happen it wouldn't really happen because you bought a pajama for the baby or anything like that so um, yeah we did get a few things and we're so excited to start just kind of preparing everything for the baby and um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the um, coming home outfit or not but we just really liked it and we kind of have an inside joke with the bunny so we got something with a bunny on it and it's this little onesie it's like a pajama onesie and uh, it's got a little bunny and it says my lovely bunny and this is um 50 centimeters which is um exactly for a newborn um and now that i think about it, it he could actually be born a little bit bigger and not fit in this but yeah i think it will be fine and it also has on the bottom little um like ears and a little bunny face so i think it's so cute and I cannot believe in a few months I'm gonna have something this size to snuggle with so it's gonna be really nice and um, and then we also got this little cardigan which I think this is so cute <laughs> and this is from by the way this is from um, Reserved and then this is actually from Ocean like the supermarket <laughs> because uh, they have a lot of cute baby stuff and I think they're quite I mean they're not the best quality but they're fine um, and I just really love this and yeah we got this cardigan to go with it and because the baby is going to be born in October and that is quite chilly here so yeah this is going to be a little outfit for him which actually can you pair pajama with a cardigan or does it really matter for a newborn <laughs> but um, yeah I, I really love these and I'm so excited to dress him up in that so yeah that's what we got and I think that's about it for this video I'm just gonna stop talking because I could go on forever talking about the baby oh and I just remembered that I didn't do my uh, belly shot so I'm gonna show you my belly now this is what it looks like and I feel like it's quite big or like it's getting quite big and I think this dress kind of accentuates it but yeah this is from H&M in case you're wondering um, but it's not a maternity dress, it's just like a simple dress, but I feel like it fits really nicely. I hope you enjoyed this update and um, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!